victim Vanderbilt III dies in a crash at age 26. The year was 1933. He was driving from Miami to New York. So the Vanderbilt fortune was supposed to pass and remain intact all the way to William Kissam Vanderbilt III. William was born in 1907 and passed away in 1933 in a car crash in South Carolina. He had taken a cruise with his father down to Miami and then was driving a car back. With him was Erskine Gwynn distant cousin and the chauffeur Guffey and he was English I think and the car had right hand drive he collided with a fruit truck after they passed through Georgia into South Carolina and hit the fruit truck and killing him and injuring Guffey and his cousin which survived the crash Irish Gwynn did a drink called the Boulevarde. It's a uh, it's a cocktail that he invented in 1927. So earlier on Tuesday they crashed on Wednesday, but on Tuesday it, near Daytona Beach they hit a bird and it crashed through the windshield, injuring William Vanderbilt, who had to go to the hospital. So here he is, a young guy. 26, racing through the countryside on his way back up to New York, uh, hitting a bird and shattering a windshield. You have to be going pretty fast. So the very next day, he's out of Georgia into South Carolina and crashes again. That's about 200 miles. So it's a sad uh, end to what would have been a continuing story the house that they lived in up in Suffolk County, New York on Long Island is now the Vanderbilt Planetarium and Museum. It's been used as part of uh, the Great Gatsby. The filled and pool was a concept for some of the ending scenes in that movie. But a lot of people say, you know, what happened? Uh, you know, that was just one of the tragedies in the Vanderbilt Five. 